Take your hammer. See as I push down. Once this is mounted back up. So let's see it. There she telling myself this is stupid. We got that little light coat on there, light coat on there, painted the edges. I'll do all of it if I have enough paint. If not, I did the edges so I can come back the underside with just like a rattle can from Tractor Supply. I'm probably not going to film anything else just because it's nothing to see and it's hot. So I'll catch y'all when I'm done. In progress. I probably didn't pick up good on camera, but looks good and still getting more done out there i've got ready to do this side of the wheels and then flip over the body and then do the top of the hood so boy it's hot all right so <clears throat> yesterday i finished painting it today's the next day um overall it turned out really good it's nice and shiny and bright and it'll look really pretty once it's all put together. Um, for those that may not have seen it when I took it apart and repainted it, but I painted the, the frame. This is the factory color from the 80s. This is the color it was originally painted, and it's called uh, Blue Enamel. But I didn't paint it. That's not the factory orange from the 80s. This is the factory orange like from today which is called Bright Orange 2. Because I, I like this orange better. I didn't want to go back to the 80s shag carpet orange. I think it'll, it, it's a really good color combination. So, All right, I'm hoping y'all can hear me, but it's like 104 outside, so I got my double barrel ACs going.
took all of these out. I took this out. This, this. I'm gonna take this, this, and this. See this just kind of clips in. That screw I'm going to touch up and paint it orange. These two and these I'm going to leave them silver and I'll probably pull them out and polish them up a little bit, but I'm just trying to get panels and parts back where they belong so I don't lose track of any more crap. I've already had to go back and watch a video to see how some stuff came apart because interestingly enough it was almost a year ago that I painted the chassis. So this thing's been sitting a year waiting for me to get back to it and I've been, I've been working on it off and on but you can see how dirty it is, dusty. That's just been sitting in a container either in this garage or out in a container. So. But I'll tell you what, I put the key in, it'll fire right up. We're not going to do that yet, though. Put some uh, tape up on the front of the hood to protect it. All right, so I'm back here looking at this, and it looks like this goes on the inside of the frame. All right, let me see if I can get this thing to sit down in there. So, let's get a couple of turns on this. Let's see how it acts when we try to open it up. Okay, I found my bag of parts for the side steps. You can see it says side steps something, I don't know, but side steps. And then I went back and looked at some pictures and old video that I took to see how this went back together or go how it goes together and so I've got it pretty much figured out. And, and I promise you, that's the way that's supposed to be. I have no clue why they threaded this and then just ran a bolt through it. And then I'm supposed to put nuts on the other side. It doesn't make sense to me either, but that's the way it was when it came off. So that's the way it's going back on. This has a washer and a nut. Shims, and I remember I looked in the pictures. I know one goes here for sure. And it looks like maybe one goes here, and then maybe one on the other side. I don't know how critical it is because that would just be moving this back and forth a little bit. And there's like uh, a good, probably quarter inch to a little over a quarter inch adjustment on the body when you put it on, you know? So a couple thousands here and there really don't mean anything, but it's kind of funny when you think about the engineering. Some dude took the time to put shims in here, but did this crap. And I almost think for the American spec tractors, maybe they did this just as a joke, just to get be mean to us or something, because this, this does not make any sense, but whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting these on and then it's just rinse and repeat on the other side. 
Okay, this is where I'm going to stop for today. So I got the hood on. I need to look and find something, some kind of padding or something to put there so it doesn't scratch it every time you shut it. And I got both these mounts on both sides. I had to go back and look through old video and pictures to figure out how they clocked on here. Sand these, paint them. And then I need to paint this before I put the body on. But the last thing I'll be doing is putting this body on. Steering wheel stuff, that's nothing. Mount the tires, stems. I gotta rebuild the front wheels, so put new bearings in them, grease them. But it's coming together, I'm making progress. All right, see you a little bit. So you can see there's the pull cover, right? So let's see what happens when I shake the pull cover, if Leroy trips out or not. Boom, boom, uh oh. Woo, look at him go. Oh man, he's hauling. It's like, say what? All right, leave him alone. See you, Leroy.